Okay, uh, dear customer, today we are going to install the D12500 printer. So when you receive the printer, you have the base and the tower. And the tower are inside one of the box. Wow, when I first saw this, oh, it's a little bit of panic. But it's okay, let's start. So we have two stands. We pull the first stand all out. Right here. Let's check. Um, okay. Uh, we have the number here. One. You can see one. And uh, also on the printer, we have the number one. So one for one, you match it. Okay. So we put the top, first the tower stand down. Um, and we need to install the bolts. All the bolts are inside inside the box. First, we are going to use uh, install the tower. We need the belt and uh, the steel cover, and also this pack. We have uh, eight uh, ten centimeter uh, belts and uh, four longer one, which we are going to install on the back. So let's start. And uh, you can find all the Allen key here. So you can, uh, first one, we are going to use this one. You can go through, there are two holes here. So put your, the long bolts go through here. Go through the hole. And match the hole. You can twist a little bit. So it can be, can install the first bolts. Maybe this a little bit hard, so you can uh, you can turn this uh, aside. Let me try. Let me try first. Match the hole here. Okay. One for one. All right. So it's match. I twist a little bit. It don't have it to be very tight. And uh, I take another one out. So to invert the second one into the hole to lock it. You twist it so it can be well inverted, okay? Uh, and then we need to tie it. So, first, put this aside. Come, so you can see the bolts here. Now, twist the bolts to lock it. Don't, don't have to be very tight. Okay, yeah, second one. All right, okay. The first stand is well installed. Let's find the second stand. It's inside the bag. Okay. Put, put it out gently and take off the, the foam protecting. We will use uh, two more bolts to lock this stand. So we have the number on this stand, number two. So two for two, here's number two. So you match it. Two for two, stand it on it. Let me put this aside so it's easier for me. Okay. And then invert the boat. Yep. Yeah. You have to figure out. Okay, first one is installed. Second one. Okay, well installed. 
So let's put this aside so you can tighten the bolts. We have still use the Allen key. That's a six millimeter Allen key to tighten the first bolts. Don't have to be very tight. So you can have a little adjustment during assembly. All right. Okay, tight. If you feel it's not too much tight, you can re-tight it. Okay, so now we are going to install the X-axis. So inside the box, we have this one with the uh, a mounting plate. This is our X-axis. Oh, sorry, we, we need to install this first. Ah, the top tower, top stand, which are going to stay here. We have the lumber, the lumber towards you. So let's find the, the more bolts. It's uh, inside the uh, toolbox number one, a bags. We need four of them. Three. And we can put this aside so it's easier for us to do. Okay. So there are a hole. Look in the hole and put through. Sometimes if you find, you see the cable is in the middle, you need to use the, to ensure the cable is on the side so the hole can go through and we invert the bolts. Okay. Don't break the, the cables. Sorry, I have to, to make the, the cable neat. So it's easy for me to get the bolts through. All right, make sure the numbers towards you and uh, four of the amounting belts is for extruder. So it's on the back of it. All right. That's first belt. Okay, second belt. Okay, you don't have to be very tight. Maybe after installation, you can adjust it. Okay, another side and another two bolts. Make sure do not break the cable. Go through. Okay, another one. Go through. All right, install the two bolts. If you feel the cable is in the middle, you need to readjust the cable so that you will not break the uh, extruder cable. Okay. Okay, this stand is well installed. So now we need to install the belt. We have the belt here. Put the belt onto the timing gear so they can synchronize together. Make sure it's almost in the same line. Oh, now it's okay. And then we need to install the top, a uh, top cover. We have two of them. And on each of the cover, this is a, a big flange, which is on the top. This is a small flange will be, will be on the lower side so this is the top oh. <laughs> Moment. okay so let's install it you just push and it can be inverted and we have the four bolts inside the back we leave two of them to lock it 
and uh, you need another Allen key. You use the uh, two belts, the middle belts. Okay. Match it. Okay, tight it. All right, you have installed one side. Let's install this other another side. Twist it. So the big big flange is on the top. Put the cable aside. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's wheel uh, installed, and we can see this cable can synchronize the X axis. Now we can move this and we can move together. So it's okay. We are going to install the X axis. Let's turn the printer front to body. Okay. And the X axis. This way. And we have the mounting plate, which you supposed to toward you. And we have the four, one, two, three, four, four locking belts. Another one, two, three, four. Both of them can match. And the two hole for you to locate. So we are going to install it like this. Okay. Put it aside. And we have the bag without the sticker. We have eight belts. Mushroom head boats with washers. Put the washer onto the boat. And that's installed. Don't break the cable. Oh, okay, we need to, to install from the back. Okay, so we need to twist this uh, printer so that the back can toward you. Let's install the first one. Okay, match. Match the hole and invert the belt and twist a little bit. Match the hole and invert the belt and twist a little, little, little bit. You don't have to be very tight in the beginning. Okay, uh, it seems it's not matched. No. Let me check. Okay, you can open it, I see. Uh, let me check the boat. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. And another one.
yeah, you don't have to be very tight. So we have, we can adjust later. Invert, insert another side. If the thread is mismatched, you may need to re-invert the bolt. Okay, third and fourth. So lock the four bolts on the right side. Yeah. It don't have to be too tight. Okay, another side. See the difference? Can, so, can you see the difference? Now, these uh, two of the a mounting plate is not on the same level. Make sure when you're doing a mounting, make sure this plate is matched to this. So it will be, will be on the same level. If it's not, you need to readjust. Okay, now it's the same level here. So we are going to install the synchronized belt and the top cover on the top. So first, we need to adjust a, the two of the Z-axis. Make sure they are at the same level. So we push the, the bay to the very much front. So we can move the Z-axis down. Move the, move the axis down. So it's on the same level now. Okay. Now we install the belt, left and the right together, okay. And now we install the flange here. Make sure the big flange is on the top, okay. Second belt. Come on. You, 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 you. Okay, match the hole. Maybe not match. All right, done. Uh, lose a little bit. Okay. Second one, tight. Tight uh, the belt arm. Let's install the second one. Make sure the big flange is on the top, the small flange on the lower side. So All right, okay, the axis is already installed and uh, we are sure the two axes is uh, well leveled. Let's amount the X axis. To amount it, we need eight belts here and we can move this a little bit up. We can move this 
belt so that the excess two of them can move together. Okay. Yeah, move this back. We have eight bolts here. Uh, each bolt with one washer. The spring washer can protect it from losing. All right, let's install it. Okay, the Z axis, uh, X axis. It, the front to box, you, so we have the locking, locking hole on the back. You use one hand to hold it and invert the, the bolts. If uh, the two the axes is not well match it, you need to readjust it to ensure two the axes must be leveled. Uh, if not, you can. Uh, it's uh, very difficult to install the x axis. Okay, the last one at the right side. Okay, the four bolts are well installed. Let's go back here. Right here, put it up. So you have the hole. It's a, if the two axes is, a, is a well leveled, it's very easy to install the bolts. If it's not matched, it's very difficult. X-axis. Okay, tight it. I think I have missed one. Okay, right here. One more. All right, congratulations. You have a well-installed tower and uh, it's a well-leveled tower. So let's uh, install the front parts. We have the extruder here, right here. And we need the two bolts to lock the extruder onto the mounting plate. And uh, it's in your bag one. We have the bolts. Yes. Right here we have bolts. So you have two of the M3 bolts, and another two smaller one is for BL touch. And uh, the longer one, this one is for the uh, extruder. This is uh, a mounting hole. You invert it into the plate. One of a smaller Allen key to lock it. Okay, in position and install it. All right, one boat, a second boat.
All right. So it's uh, well installed. In case it's uh, not tight, you may use the uh, Allen key inside of your uh, uh, inside of your tool bag to tight this uh, non-eccentric bolt here. This one. Uh, sometimes, if it's too loose, you may use this uh, non-eccentric belt to tight it. For example, here. So you can see it can move, but if I tight it, so it will not move. It's pretty tight and uh, moving smoothly. Make sure you adjust this. E1, right here we have the number I. So we have the sticker on the cable I, so we can match it. We move this, we lock the bolts, four bolts in the middle. So we lose it. You can move them to two sides. Two of them here. Okay. And we will use the lower hole for this. Move this a little bit out so we can move this part. Make sure we, uh, we have enough to move this uh, cable to be inverted. So move this to the very end of it. Okay, first one. Let's lock the second one. So the second belt is inside the, the extruder uh, filament tube. this inside so we match the hole oh. okay right. so you tie to the belt Okay, after this, you, you need to invert the cable inside of it. The extruder. Okay, and uh, since we're doing this, let's install this uh, filament tube too. Oh. Okay. Let's check here. We have the number K, so on the tube, there's a K, you invert it. And also M, so this is a letter M. So M for M, invert it to the end of, of the extruder. We have the two of the locker. One, we invert it into the hole. The second one, We invert. Okay, so extruder number one finish. Let's install the uh, mounting plate, a uh, the spool holder now. Okay, spool holder and lock it. Okay, and. Uh, we have this uh, filament sensor. We need to install this. The sensor, the bolt, find the bolt. And on the top, there is only one hole which we, we can install the sensor.
that right? By hand. So it's okay now. We then we need to install the lower part right here. We have the the bag of the the bolts. We need up here to to the extra you can you can put inside in case there are some missing bolts you can use them. Now these are supposed to be installed here. Let's put down. Maybe it's better. We we lock a little, a little bit. Then we do that. Second one. All right. So we we align this, and then we we lock the bolts. All right. And uh, here are the cables. Zip tie. Open it. So we have this cable out. This is a D for D. You see, this is a filament sensor. We put it into the locker. Okay, lock it, lock it, and invert into the sensor. Okay, well done. So one side is installed. Let's install the second one. It's a uh, in smaller bag. First, let's install it. the same thing, just like the first one. Oh, don't have it. So follow the same way you install the second extruder and the filament spool holder. So now let's insert the cable on the back of it. So here we have the A. So A for A, you invert A. So we also have the C. Let me check. Ah, C is for. Ah. So now, so we are going to invert all the cables, and uh, the A uh, for A, you invert it. This one is for the end stop switch. And now let's go to C for on the side of the motor, there's a number C. So C for C, we invert the, the motor cable connected. Okay, right on the left side, we have this E right here for E inverted. Okay, and G for G here invert it if you don't like it you can move this uh, into the hole so you can hide them but anyway it's on the back of the printer it's uh, it will not uh, affect okay so you hide it so now let's install the front okay we are installing the, the bar on the front we have the two of this transfer bar here right here and uh, in the number one to a bag we have the bolts two of the mushroom is on the top and the two of the seat screw is on the lower side. So let's install this. Check number three, three for three, match it. And use the mushroom bolt. You 
dirt and the locket. Now, and the lower side, we have this safety screw and one of the uh, pushing. Put this inside, and this one in the middle. Okay, now we need to match the hole. It's a little bit tough, complicated to go through, but, but still, you can do this. All right, bingo. Second one. We have the number five bar. Okay, so the mushroom bolt on the top. Come on. All right, tight now. It has to be tight. Okay. Yeah, lower side now. You invert this bushing inside and move this the bushing up. So you can invert this through. Sorry, let me check the hole. Make sure they are matching. Sometimes you need to move the, the, the bushing up or lower so you can get the bolt through. Okay, tighten them. All right, so now let's take off the sticker. The front sticker off. Sticker off. Sticker off. Sticker off. All right, so we can get the cable out. Hey. Take off the zip tie. We will reuse them. Don't throw them away. Okay, now. Let's insert them into the, uh, into the hole. First, let's get the, the bigger one. Can, you can make it neat. Okay. So the sick, we have, we also have the locker. You have the locker inside here. Here are the lockers. So we can seal the uh, BL touch cable. And hide on this side so we can lock it lock it inside lock inside okay so the cable are well in well lock it and now we can invert the extruder cable. This one is for the BL touch. 
Let's fight. Okay, it's here. And then we have the two bolts here, so we can install the BL touch. Let me put this aside. So uh, now we have the MK14 uh, model, which is a smaller, so we can use uh, the lower two bolts. There are two of the bolts hole, we use uh, two lower one. Oh, sorry. We have to invert the cable first. Let's first invert the cable. Okay, make sure the arrow side. Okay, invert. Okay, well, we'll invert the cable and lock the mounting plate. We are going to use a lower bolt, bolt hole. Okay. All right, this one is well, well installed. And uh, in case the cable may fall down, even we have the locker, we still use uh, uh, the zip tie to lock it in the middle. Okay, we have three of them, so. Ah, please be careful. Uh, don't lock the belt inside, so you have to only so after this, we have to install the, a zip tie to se secure the cables in case it could be falling down. And make sure, uh, because we have the, the belt on the back, so we will not put the belt inside. All right, the first tie. Okay, the second tie. Okay, so we can adjust this for any occasion. All right, so now this uh, we haven't uh, installed the cable here, so let's install the final cable. We have one locker here, B. So okay, let's open this one, so we can lock the the B here. Now. The B is here. B is for the uh, the motor. So now let's install the uh, Z axis cable. We need to lock. You see the B for B. B is for the motor. So let's invert the the motor here. Right here. So the motor is well installed. And also the spring cable, we lock it here. And then we invert this cable into the hole. Okay. 
so it's uh, well installed here. I think it's too tight. Move it a little bit down. Okay. So the access is well installed. Now we finish the installation of the primary a printer. Thank you for your watching.